with an explosive offense, star performers, and bitter season opening losses to overcome. The 16th ranked Sun Devils of Arizona State and the BYU Cougars. Frederick has to step up his game, and it is difficult. Brigham Young has been known as passing you for a very long time. Frederick hopes to keep them there. Play from scrimmage with J.R. Redmond, the single setback, and the first play of the game is a pass. Is it picked off? Yes, it is! They're going to say that the forward motion was stopped. Heshima Robertson. And it will be Arizona's on third down and about two yards to go. Red is not going to get it. Rob Morris, the linebacker. First play of the game from their own 31-yard line. Ronnie Jenkins is a single setback. Sataki is in motion. Here's Federick. On the run, over the middle, complete to the 50, and down at the 45-yard line. It's a tight end to Vita. And here on an option, busted play, Ronnie Jenkins gets back to the line of... On third and 10, here's Federick to throw. Over the middle, and it's complete! Here's Sataki, brought down from behind inside the 20-yard line. Here's Sataki, he's gonna come on the circle route, and you can see he's got man coverage. Federick sits in there, and Trejo just cannot stay with him. Lucky to trip him, trip him up, otherwise. He's so on first and 10 at the 25, or at the 20, a pickup of 25 on the play. Here's Federick, run out of bounds at the 20-yard line. And it's on its way. Keeley over the middle, incomplete, and again, Tarek McDonald with 10, BYU at the 40. A flag on the play. And that flag may go for North. Plays for 11 yards in their first two series, still looking for their first first down of the ball game. Incomplete, but there's a flag. Take a look and see as to whether or not Gray decides he's playing the man or if he goes after the football. That's a bad call. Well, he, he, he got him just before the uh, touch of the ball. Now he's going after the football, Charlie. That sort of contact. They need to get to the 45. And Keeley is going to go down behind the 25. And Sataki the single setback. And look at Federick go. Sliding to the 35-yard line. They'll mark it at the 37, and that's a first. Three nothing. Third and 17. Federick with a lot of time. A lot of time. A lot of time. Throw it. And he completes it underneath at the 25-yard line. The line. They had won against Washington. They lost it. And how are they going to rebound this time out? And so far, they are struggling. And J.R. Redmond get to the 47 of BYU. Keeley's toss underneath. They're not going to fool anybody with that. Craig Spann is 65,000 here at Cougar Stadium in the last half minute of the first quarter. Hey, there's Ronnie Jenkins. Jenkins still on his feet. Ronnie Jenkins is... And the BYU defense has told the story early on. And they lead it 3 0. Tire, is it? Third and eight. Federer for a lot of time. Now he's in trouble throwing, and it's complete flag on the play back of the line of scrimmage. It may be roughing the. Nope, it's going to be holding against on the road. Redmond can't get outside. They have done an incredible job. And J.R. Redmond, nine carries. Eight yards. Keeley. Hit as he threw. Morris, the closest man to the football. Made one from 42 last week. Misses one from 44 this week. Last year against Arizona State, he was 17 of 30 for 328 yards. Not having nearly the success tonight. Oh, it's into the hands of Ben Horton. Oh, goodness. He's going to make it. Wow.
Plenty of time. Now he's able to come back to the other side. He's got him on the crossing route. And Cherry does a nice job. Look at Cherry. Take a look at Cherry. He runs right with him. Lays out. Does a great job. Gets his hand on the ball. Makes it through all the traffic. But look at the concentration by Horton. Able to come up with the ball. Now watch this circuitous route. Comes to the middle. Now cuts back to the right. Now cuts back to the left. The man falls. He's about to get caught. Now he cuts back again. Confusing the secondary. In this case, Courtney Jackson. You can't. This is from 30. Nope. BYU from their own 20-yard line. Ronnie Jenkins. Across the 25 to about the 26-yard line. You do the time if you do the crime. And here's Jenkins again. Mother knew best. And a pickup of a foul. Jenkins now, nine carries, 47 yards. Third and short. Jenkins is going to bust it. Still on his feet. Finally brought down inside the 30-yard line by Kristen Ray. Take a look. Now watch as they pull out. He bides his time. Now he sees a little bit of a seam, and he's gone. Great job up front by BYU and Rance. Misses him first, stumbles a little bit, stays with it, and able to pull him down from behind. But once again, the offensive line for BYU doing it out. Late in the game last week for BYU. With Federer. Finally brought down at the 23-yard line. 41. And it's on its way. Got it. And six. Healy throwing behind Redmond in and out of his head. Coming in the game, Charlie. How often is it that the one guy who gets all the hype going in is beaten out by the other guy? In this case, Ronnie Jenkins having a whale of a night. Over the middle, and it's complete. Ronnie Jenkins finally brought down inside the 50. And once again, fumble. Who's got it? A scrum at the 20, and BYU's got it. Yancey. Darren Yance doesn't get the ball. Take a look right here. Here it comes, and it glances off his bicep. And the ball's laying on the ground. This is not what Arizona State needed here. But once again, Arizona State still does not. Did he get it? Yes, he did. By the hand. It's been all BYU 16 to nothing at the half. Charlie Steiner and Todd Christensen. And last year, BYU shut down Arizona State, one of the few teams to do so, 13 to 10, and they're doing it again tonight. Very surprising simply because of the fact that last week against Alabama, they gave up 38 points and five rushing touchdowns to Sean Alexander. This has been very different, at least in the first half against Arizona State. Great coverage against the wide receivers, certainly. Pressure on Keeley, forcing him to only go 7 for 17 in the first half. And, of course, they've done a great job stopping G.R. Redmond, a guy coming into this game who's been averaging nine yards a touch up to this. A gorgeous night in Provo. Jenkins a single setback. Let's see what he does on the first play from scrimmage of the second half to the 35-yard line, a pickup of 15-yard line. Up here so far tonight. Second and 14. Federer throwing sideline complete. That's Ronnie Jenkins. And Jenkins is brought down at the 34 yard, 153 yards, and was sacked four times. Hope is going to be wrestled down at the 15. Today he's playing with seven stitches in his head. Healy throwing long over the middle, and it's nearly picked off. But from the shotgun for the second time tonight. Sideline incomplete. Intended. He's going to get this one to run back, Charlie. No, he's not. Out at the 20-yard line. Uncorked. Todd Heap is in the lineup for the first time tonight. The freshman tight end. The throw over the middle. Incomplete to Todd Heap. No wristbands, no gloves, nothing special. The guy just has a great pair of hands. No muss, no fuss. 6'6", 245. Here's the pass over the middle. It's incomplete. And it was intended to... Ronnie Jenkins. Ronnie Jenkins. Across the 40 yard. Down and nine. Frederick with a lot of time. Sideline complete. Ronnie Jenkins to the 40 yard line. And another first down. And he is a single setback with four wides. 
Here's Jenkins. Jenkins toots to the 30 yard line flag on the play. Now 164 total yards. So Jenkins has outproduced Arizona State. Go on, Jared. Jenkins again with a flag on the play to the 15 yard line. And they are getting penalized a lot tonight. Here's Jenkins again. Cut down at the two. Loss in the opening game last week against Washington. Jenkins, touchdown BYU. Uh, Ryan Keeley is still in the lineup and he's on the seat of his pants at the 10 yard line. Like you're pinning your ears back and saying, I'm not worried about the run. Look at the pressure breaking down Frisch once again with a big play dragging Keeley. Frisch, who has led BYU in sacks in each of the last two years. If we're running Jenkins, an outstanding defensive effort. Over the middle, and it's complete to Lindsey Jackson. There's the ball over the middle on the deep in route. Take a look at Jackson as you make the catch. Actually, the ball was stripped. Last 12 passing attempts. He's got four wides. Throwing long over the middle, and it's complete! And fumbled! And recovered by BYU! Tyler Nelson! There's a nice catch. And there's the strip by number two, Walker, having a great game. And as you pointed out, Walker heard about it. On third down. Over the middle. Incomplete. And oh, Sataki takes a bump. And they're going to flag him. Under replaced Kevin Federick, who took a pop on that last play as well. Now a sophomore. And they hand it to Ronnie Jenkins. And inside the 35 and down to the 30. And it's been Ronnie Jenkins tonight. J.R. Redmond. Nearly blocked. Oh, man. And a flag. Man, oh, man. And so another penalty for Arizona State. Boy. Tenth penalty of the night. You're going to see Hartsfield. Take a look right here. This is this is number 26, Kareem Clark, who just Kareem's the punter. On third and seven. Federick to throw for the end zone, incomplete. Eight yards. 26 nothing. 75 by a score of 20 to nothing. Throwing over the middle, and it's finally complete to Derek McDonald. And McDonald is brought down at the 48 yard line, and there are flags flying. And Martin. All right, plays dead. Now here he comes. Long after the play, he nails great. And the interesting thing that happened early on, we saw just a plethora of drop passes. Balls right on the money, not able to come up, come up with them. And finally, when they finally do come up with them, in this case, Kenny Mitchell, I mistook him for Redmond earlier. I apologize. He gets stripped and coughs up the ball. And it becomes a turnover for BYU. They've got to get some discipline here. Throwing long over the middle. It's in and out of the hands of Kenny Mitchell. Saving tackle from the 15 for the end zone. Did he get it? Yes! Lindsey Jackson. Baker, normally the punter. No good. Boston. From the eight. Mahe. Mahe is the deep back. And he gets it again. And he breaks open. Junior Mahe. Still on his feet. And finally brought down at the 25 yard line. The dash is opposed to 100. What's the stop and start here? The hesitation cuts back. Gets a nice block downfield. Now he should be off to the races. 
But as the head starts to come up and the shoulders tilt back, that's an indication of fatigue. Now he stops again, comes back to the outside, <laughs> but Mahi is out of gas. All right, Arizona State on the ground. And there's a fumble. Arizona State. No, they didn't get it either. I mean, nothing is going right for the Devils. Once the ball's going on that direction, you think it's going to be Arizona State's, but that's great hustle, as you pointed out, Charlie, by Nuno able to pull that ball. And here in Provo, throwing long over the middle, and it's incomplete. Lindsey Jackson, who made the brilliant catch just a moment. Ball's just a little bit short. Watch as the ball comes down. Robertson just gets his arm in. Good coverage. Not going to happen tonight. Long over the middle and picked off. Jason Walker. Inside the 40 to the 30. Here comes Keeley in pursuit of the tackle. And there's the throw down by Yancey. Now that's a mismatch. Yancey 6 6 and playing at home for the national championship early next year. Does not look like that's going to happen this year. And Federick. I see all good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Elliott is snowed under back at the 34 yard line. Well, the pressure has been on Elliott here at the end. You can see Stevenson takes that extra step. That's a good call by the official. There's no reason for this year. Said they're going to leave Provo 0 and 2. Elliott's pass incomplete, intended for Craig Spann. And so BYU takes over on downs. And now there's nothing Arizona State can do about it. They have plumb run out of timeouts and tried to use one that didn't exist. He's been doing it all right. The offensive line, he finds the gap, cuts back against the grain, breaks tackles. It has been the Ronnie Jenkins show this evening in Provo. Coming out of sorts. Nice little shake move, has the good hands, makes catches. He's somebody that certainly is going to be a force this year. And so this will be the last play of the game. And that is going to do it. BYU wins it big. 26 to 6. For Todd Christensen and Chris Marlowe, Charlie Steiner saying goodbye from Provo, Utah.